Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. This is J.T. O'Sullivan. Today, Victory Monday. We're looking at Josh Rosen, big trade over the weekend, NFL draft. All sorts of talk with what the Arizona Cardinals were going to do at the quarterback position. We're going to look at one of my favorite plays from Rosen over the past year. This ability to really climb in the pocket, hang tough, lots of things breaking down, all sorts of issues past pro-wise we'll dive into. But then to give his guys a shot down the field, one of the best to ever do it. Larry Fitzgerald go up to get it against Richard Sherman. There's all sorts of good nuggets in here for us to learn from. So I'm really excited to dive into this film really shows what I think Josh Rosen can be at his best. He needs guys around him, but he can straight up spin it and get the ball down the field. But just like most guys, I mean, you need some help. You need some guys making plays. You need a system to protect you, play calling to help support what you do best. But Josh Rosen can stand in the pocket and deliver strikes down the field. Right here, a little play action, have a breakdown and pass pro, get up, and then come back out of it. And this is just a big-time play right here. The ability to, to basically – Panic run up through the pocket. This isn't just a slide. This is a takeoff right here to then come back and be able to flip your hips and throw it down the field and get a penalty for hitting you high. That's just a big time play. Really nice job by him. One of the best throws of the year by him. I'm excited to dive into the all 22 here, see exactly what happened, but let's get into it. Welcome to the QB school. All right, so concept here, they do a little shift, end up going from I to a three-by-one little play action, inside zone play action. We'll talk about the pass pro when we look at the tight, but concept-wise, Larry Fitzgerald run a little out-and-up post thing, gets Richard Sherman on his hip. But concept-wise, this is just reading the middle of the field. And they're doing, on defense, they're running what I would call as a cover three matchup zone. But his ability to see it, We'll talk about through the reads. He gets through one to two read here really quickly. So concept-wise, what's going on? The ball ends up going right here, Larry Fitzgerald. He's coming up, and we're in kind of a unique route where almost like an out, and instead of normally these are out and ups up the sideline, it's more of like a, an out and post. But it doesn't matter. He keeps Richard Sherman on this side of him. He's right on his hip, but he's got all this space back here. Then the other, the read right here, number one receiver, or number two receiver, He's running kind of an over-in thing. So really, you're just going to read this middle field player. And so when the tight end on the other side stays in the block, the number three receiver is running kind of a shallow just to take one of these linebackers out of here with how they run their matchup. But the matchup causes some issues on the pass pro we'll talk about. We'll watch it a few times here. The corner ends up coming too, which causes all sorts of issues, and they get a green dog from one of the linebackers that causes issues. So dive into it here. Watch a little bit of the pa of the actual concept here first before we get going. So down the field, we're watching that middle field player. He goes with the over. They can't pass it over with that other DB. Other DB's lost. Not sure what he's looking at. Watching the play action. Run right behind him. Give your guy a shot down the field. And really, he might have had the over too just because the middle field player took kind of a sharp angle. Could throw that thing on the sideline too. So that's the read. Really nice job climbing in the pocket and then just giving your guy a chance. But really the essence of this, the thing that I loved is to be able to spin it like this down the field from the pocket with stuff happening at your feet. You gotta be able to move around, tight movement, flip your hips, get it down the field, give your guy a chance, go up and get it. Really well done on many levels by Josh Rosen right there. Now, this is a this is an interesting element to break down. This is a combination of you need a system and structure to help you play this position. So you can't, this is old school play. You got all sorts of issues happening here. And really, this kind of enca encapsulates what's going on last year with the Cardinals, in my opinion. So this is just an inside zone, little seven-man play action fake. So a lot of teams run this. Well, I want you to watch the, the tight end on the left here. So normally, everybody's going to be stepping this way. And we'll see every all the offensive line kind of stepping this way to block this thing. Okay, but the right tight end, he's going to actually step down this way so they almost cross step now i'm going to guess that this tight end is not right okay and that ends up causing all sorts of issues in the pass pro so right here tight end steps down step in the wrong way so that's error number one okay now because they run this matchup zone defense where this concept at least is we're going to get a green dog right here and we're going to get a corner green dog too you don't see it very often so because this tight end blocks the corner is then allowed to go and blitz. Okay? And because the back blocks on the inside fake, 
You get a potential green dog from the linebacker. Okay, so you end up getting six guys rushing when really there's only four. Yeah, this is the, the great thing about the green dog. Now, we've got two issues we want to watch pass pro wise here. This is I'm going a deep dive here for my pass pro nerds out there. Okay, so the thing we want to watch first is the eyes right here of the tailback. So on these play action fakes, the tailback is usually has the fake, but then he's also got what's called four weak or four strong. So anytime you get a DB type pressure, he's got to go block him. So if it was strong safety, free safety, corner on either side, he'd have to go get him. So he, you can tell that he knows this. He's locked in. Watch his eyes. He's eyeballing this the whole time. So he's going to watch it, watch it, watch it. But because he goes over there, then you get the linebacker green dog because he doesn't get out. See his, the back's eyes right here? So we're watching the back's eyes. He sees it. He's slowing it. He sees it. He's going there the whole way. He's tracking it, tracking it, tracking it, tracking it, and he's going. Okay? So he goes over there. Now I would say that block is pretty poor, a little ee -ee -ee with my shoulder. You'd want to see him go over there and blunt him. But the tackle now is the other issue. So now we're going to go back and watch the left tackle. So the left tight end, we already talked about, steps wrong. He steps down, causes issues. So now this corner, because he's blocking, that tight end's blocking, it's coming. So now this tackle, not only does he have the wrong step from the tight end, but now he sees this guy coming on the outside. He's not tethered into the whole protection because he's not engaged with this defensive end because the tight end steps the wrong way. So now he's able to see it, and he wants to go help. He's like, I'm not going to let my quarterback get hit by a free runner. Well, he doesn't understand the essence of the protection and realizing that the back has that guy for a week on the play fake. So now you get two guys blocking a corner. You get a tackle and a back blocking a corner, and that leaves the left guard on a one-on-one. -on -one. Left guard ends up getting thrown by the ta by the tight end or by the the uh, tackle three technique, and so the the three techniques able to come in, and he's the one that causes all the issues. So it all comes back to scheme, missed assignments. He comes up, throws him, gets inside, and that's what causes Josh Rosen to have to step up, run up, and end up eventually getting late hit because let's go back to the tight end ends up throwing the defensive end into the quarterback. So, I mean, this is issues on issues on issues on pass pro. But Josh Rosen is still able to be successful. So, let's watch it. Left tackle. Tough. Goes out and get the corner. We're double teaming corners now. Not what we want to do in pass pro. Okay? I love double teams, but not corners or DBs. Okay? Now, we get a green dog from the linebacker. Okay? But because the left tackle has to go out and double team the corner, now our left guard's in trouble. Now our quarterback's in trouble. Now we're running. Now the tight end's coming up, and he's throwing the defensive end into the quarterback. So there it is, all sorts of issues, but Josh Rosen still able to make plays. It's a lot of pass pro. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you haven't already, get over and uh, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate the support. Thanks so much for watching, and have a good one.